making news. Can the leading financial newspaper in Hong Kong stay in the black through diversification? Are there lessons here for the world in providing a dying newspaper industry a new lease on life? And the challenges and potential of new media. Our subject in this program is the chairman of one of Hong Kong's most respected independent newspaper groups. Lawrence Fung founded the Hong Kong Economic Times with two partners in 1988. He's overseen its strategic development from the city's first daily business paper into a successful listed publishing group. We believe in differentiate or die. We mean differentiate in our quality products and services we provide to our customer to meet or to exceed their list. The titles the group has put on newsstands has reflected that. As the executive workforce has grown, along came career times to satisfy growing recruitment demands. Other books and magazine titles like E-Zone to accommodate a generation of high-tech consumers. All their products aiming to be a bit different from the competition. We put it into book A and book B. So book A is the, for PC, book B is for digital. Now, as someone who has done this yourself a couple of times, how difficult is it to set up a newspaper? Oh, I think it's fantastically difficult. First of all, logistically, it's very complex. Secondly, um, it's, it's something that requires an enormous investment in obtaining presence in the market. You know, some businesses, you could reasonably expect to make a profit in the first year, maybe the second year. In newspapers, that's rare in the extreme. Peter, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, you do have to um, uh, somehow get a foothold in the business and in the case of Hong Kong Economic Times I think they were uh, smart in seeing that there was a niche for a certain type of news that uh, they could fill that uh, nobody else was really jumping into. But these days there's other pressures on the newspaper industry globally um, just because you're successful in print today doesn't mean that you will be successful a year or two from now and that's partly because of the pressure uh, as more and more advertising revenue migrates to online. As newspapers hemorrhage readers globally, the Hong Kong Economic Times has proven the electronic age does not have to be the death knell for traditional media. Through diversification and differentiation, the group has blended both streams into a thriving publications business. Now it has its sights set on Greater China. Well, that's all from this edition of Focus Asia, the business leaders. Thanks for watching. I'm Karen Ko. Goodbye.